Welcome back viewers. Let me show you three differential defender target stats. Let's see if you can guess these before my team reveal video. Leave your answers in the comments below. I have three players that I think would be ideal replacements for James. Castagna at 4.4 million is a steal. Recent games he has been so far advanced forward, he could be classified as a right winger. Leicester looked much better recently and I can see with their fixtures he could be one of the highest scoring defenders. He would be my top choice. Next is Tarkowski. Everton have quietly been one of the harder teams to score against. They have only conceded 11 goals in 10 games. They also have a nice run of fixtures. So at 4.4 million he's very appealing. Especially as Everton are quite dangerous on set pieces and he could offer unexpected attacking returns. Last one is key. This is actually the choice I will be making. As he is 4.3 million and I plan to get Foden in 13. With Foden's price rise last night, it has now priced me out of the 4.4 million. A shame as I like them a lot more. However Palace do have a nice run of fixtures so he is quite a safe choice. Now I was rather fortunate to have transferred out Madison for Sun in game week 11. However I know a lot will be looking for replacements so I have created another guess who the differentials are for midfield. Leave your answers in the comments, I will reveal answers in the game week 12 team reveal video. All those with correct answers will get shoutouts on my socials. Here's the targets I would be looking at for replacements. I start with Zaha. He hasn't looked great in the last two games. However a nice home game against Wolves should provide a good opportunity for him to regain that fine form he's been in for most of the season. Now the Rodrigo pick might seem slightly strange. However he was looking for the best midfield option before his injury. Now having played a couple games under his belt. I see Leeds creating a lot against Leicester with their high press. Last one is Almiron at Newcastle. He's in fine form and has a really good chemistry with Trippier. So he could be starting most games for them and Newcastle currently has some of the best stats for attacking. Playing Everton at home should be a good fixture for them. Let's take a look at the free hit squad I would use for this game week. I chose Guaida as the goalkeeper. Wolves haven't looked great in attack and Palace seem to be more solid defensively. I have Cape on the bench who you can also start but I think Brentford usually have a better goal threat. For the defenders I have mostly chosen cheap options. Trippier is the only premium one. He's my favorite for a big haul this week. Castange and Dunk also look like they could do nicely with nice home fixtures. On the bench I have Gomez and Cash. I use these two as I think both offer high risk, high reward potential. I can see clean sheet potential but also they will be able to fly forward in these games so an attacking return could be on. In midfield, I've got two heavyweights with Salah and Sterling. Think Salah is the best captain choice this week. Sterling offers a great differential choice. I can see Chelsea creating a lot against Brentford, who are conceding a lot of chances this season. I also have Rodrigo starting. Who I think is going under the radar, he's playing a team that concedes a few goals. Trossard also starts, this is quite a popular choice for Skipper as well. However, I've seen his last two games and he was very poor in attacking situations. Much like Zaha, he has dipped from their season highs, I prefer Trossard this week as he has an easy fixture in Forest, who very likely conclude a few. Bailey sits on the bench, more as an enabler for the heavyweights. You could also see a return if he starts. Fulham have looked rather leaky in defense recently. Now for the forwards, Kane is the obvious choice. Even though it's a tricky fixture against United, I still see Kane finding some return. He has been super consistent all season with only the first game blanking. Maybe a little gamble but I've gone to Darwin, the stats are incredibly high for him. Eventually the goals will start coming and he has been playing more minutes so a nice home game against Hammers should suit his physical style. Last of all but not least it's Wilson. One of my favorite players this week. I'm quite surprised there hasn't been more noise for him. He's playing in one of the best attacks in the league with a home game against Everton. I can defo see Newcastle assets doing well in this fixture. Well I hope I've offered you all some good picks for your upcoming headache of a blank game week 12. Please leave comments for the game of guess who the differential is. As always if you have liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe, it's free. Until the next video, thanks for watching and goodbye.